The U.S. should do a serious assessment of why, despite 14 NATO troops plus 250,000 Afghan troops and reportedly $1 trillion spent on war in Afghanistan, the Taliban today are stronger than before, said Pakistan's Prime Minister. Here's a summary of the article. After U.S. President Donald Trump ranted that Pakistan doesn't do a damn thing for us and accused the country of harboring terrorists in a Fox News interview that aired Sunday, Pakistani Prime Minister and longtime critic of American foreign policy Imran Khan suggested in a series of tweets on Monday that Trump should examine his own country's failed war on terror and stop making Pakistan a scapegoat. The U.S. should do a serious assessment of why, despite 14 NATO troops plus 250,000 Afghan troops and reportedly $1 trillion spent on war in Afghanistan, the Taliban today are stronger than before, Khan wrote. Pakistan suffered 75,000 casualties in this war and over $123 billion was lost to the economy. U.S. aid was a minuscule $20 billion. Our tribal areas were devastated and millions of people uprooted from their homes. The war drastically impacted lives of ordinary Pakistanis. Can Mr. Trump name another ally that gave such sacrifices? Pakistan suffered 75,000 casualties in this war and over $123 billion was lost to economy. Instead of making Pakistan a scapegoat for their failures, the U.S. should do a serious assessment of why, despite 140,000 NATO troops plus 250,000 Afghan troops and reportedly $1 trillion spent on war in Afghanistan, the Taliban today are stronger than before. Prior to his election as Prime Minister in July, Khan condemned Trump's decision to cut off aid as an attempt to humiliate and insult Pakistan and argued that his nation must never again be used by the U.S. as a gun for hire. We became a U.S. proxy for a war against the Soviet Union when it entered Afghanistan and we allowed the CIA to create, train, and arm jihadi groups on our soil and a decade later we tried to eliminate them as terrorists on U.S. orders, Khan declared in a January letter. This post received a score of 26,877, with an upvote ratio of 89%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. You put the comma in the wrong place for 140,000. That's the opening paragraph lol original author made that stupid error. And yeah I just noticed it thanks. Sick. For anyone confused by that, there are some situations where you want to quote someone exactly but you also want to make it clear that you're quoting their mistake. For example, Similar assessment needed, we spent $4 trillion on the drug war and they seem more prevalent now than when the war on drugs began. I'd like to say congratulations, to drugs, for winning the war on drugs. Wasn't even close. Total shutout. Really poor sportsmanship on the part of drugs. You don't have to run up the score, guys, come on. Wait, have the drugs been tested, for drugs? We could have saved up and eventually built the Death Star for $850 trillion if we knew this. Plus it isn't like the money is going to disappear. It will go back into the economy. The Death Star could be like a New Deal work program but with a death laser. You've got my vote, Ronnie Reagan. Yeah I'm pretty sure Pakistan has had something to do with in light of their allowance of the Taliban to freely run across the border into their country every time they were being pursued by coalition forces as well as allowing them to bring supplies and troops across their border into Afghanistan. I can't tell you how many times enemy combatants would do exactly that. Set off an IED or start a firefight and then head straight for the border. Once that happened, we would have to send a report and let them go. They should build a big beautiful wall. They actually are about to start building a wall on the Durand Line. The only problem is it's over 2,000 miles long through some of the most mountainous terrain on Earth. The one thing I learned while in Afghanistan was that those people are fantastic at building stone walls in the most remote and random places. Don't let the POTUS know that, he might contract them. Trump, stones or whatever, if my wall doesn't have sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their heads I'm gonna track shit into Air Force One and leave my umbrella outside again. Frickin' sharks with frickin' laser beams on th heads. Important background info, Trump cut $300 million in aid to Pakistan last month. This is in response to Trump's interview saying Pakistan doesn't do jack for us. Of course Trump is just scapegoating Pakistan for American failure in the war. 
Pakistan sheltered Osama bin Laden from us so they have that going for them. Yes Saudis killed 3,000 Americans on 9-11 and yet all American presidents since then still like that oily Arab penis, money. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention. <laughs>